Hello everyone, it's Dragon Platinum here, and today we are playing Project Flight Point. Now, as you guys may have known, I, it has been quite a while since I have uploaded any Plain Crazy content onto the channel. And this is because I have been waiting for the release of Plain Crazy 2. That was supposed to come out last summer. We are still waiting. And I, I think the last time we really heard about anything to do with Plain Crazy was last December near the end of the year. So, hoping it releases this summer. I, I haven't really got any, like, background info or anything that's not public. I, I have no idea when that, that game is supposed to release. However, somebody from the Plain Crazy community decided to take it upon themselves to make Plain Crazy's spiritual successor, Project Flight Point. So as you can see here, uh, if I just scroll down a bit, the game only has 27,000 visits. So I don't know if this is going to be any good, but a lot of people have asked me to try it out. And I mean, I, I'm definitely going to try it out. I'm definitely going to give it a shot because to see somebody actually try to not just complain about the lack of playing crazy 2 but to take it into their own hands and start building it i think is really cool okay that's enough of dragon platinum from the past so i'm just gonna take over really quickly this is currently dragon platinum from the future and i want to say that the video kind of turned out to be kind of all over the place so i'm gonna turn this into more of like a recommendation of the game and talk a little bit about it and then maybe later on for another video, I'll be actually like playing the game and I'll be inviting people into the game and then we'll be like building together because like it was it was kind of all over the place because I was still trying to figure things out and at the same time trying to like experience the game while playing it. It, it was kind of like a, a difficult thing to balance, but it was a lot of fun. So to start things off, Project Flight Point does have a tutorial just like Playing Crazy does, and it does pretty much the same thing, just teaching you like the basics, how to get started, how to get your plane off the ground, and then how to fly it around. Now, where the game is different from Playing Crazy is that motor locking doesn't exactly work the same way that it does in Playing Crazy. They don't attach to each other, so you can make the motor lock tower. There is still motor locking in the game. However, I don't think it is as necessary to build really complicated things as it is in Plain Crazy. So is he using, how is he getting everything to be so flat? You see, for this game, there is like a super advanced build mode where you can like individually rotate parts and like you can like resize parts and you can like ever so slightly adjust different parts into different positions and like it all still sticks together and works properly um and apparently you can just barely adjust your rotations with shift r shift x uh it's not doing anything and shift y Okay, if it weren't for the fact that the physics for this game are a little- they're, they're a little wonky, I'll, I'll, and even the people that I've been talking to here, they've been saying that it's, it's a little- it's a little- it's a little weird, like the, the, the physics are a little weird, but the building- the building is where it's at, and it is good, it is really, really, really in-depth. Now, I will say that the one thing about the game that I did find a little bit weird, and I think that Playing Crazy does way better, is the physics system. Now, we all know that Playing Crazy physics can be a little wacky sometimes, but this system for this game, it, it seems like getting things to fly is kind of difficult. And uh, as I was talking to people in the game and they were like teaching me things, they were also saying that the physics are a little bit wonky in some ways and that it can make things kind of difficult to work, especially for when you're trying to fly things. It can make it pretty difficult to get them to work. So I think that is the one thing that this game sort of needs to definitely improve on is figure out the physics. However, I haven't really got into the fact that this is only created by one developer. I don't know, it, it seems like a little bit more touchy. That could just be because I'm, I'm, I've got like this, <laughs> which it, I won't say is the greatest plane in the world, but the physics seem a little bit more touchy than Plane Crazy is. 
But we're moving, and that's really all that matters. The build system for playing crazy is a lot more fun. I, I think with Project Flight Point, you're getting a lot more detail, and it's a lot more difficult. But with playing crazy when you're building, it's like the motor locking and all that stuff. I find it like more fun to try to put it together, whereas with Flight Point, I think that it's more detail oriented and you can make things look way better but it's like a lot more time consuming oh whoa oh this is a really cool plane this looks so cool oh my god okay yeah i can't like this kind of stuff i have no idea how these guys are building this stuff that is actually insane like, like I, I always look awful <laughs> compared to the builders of the community this is so insane! Now thankfully, I was able to learn a lot of things from the people in-game, and I said this about playing crazy, and I'll say it about this game too, you need to show people the advanced features of your game. With playing crazy, there is no tutorial for motor locking, and I really honestly think that there should be. Motor locking is such a core part of what makes playing crazy's identity, that I think there should be some tutorial that teaches you to do it. Now, I do think that if you go out of your way and you search for videos and stuff, you can find, like, way better tutorials, because, like, hey, I made a motor locking tutorial for, for playing crazy, and a lot of people really, uh, like, were thankful for that, because it taught them, like, the very basics, and a little bit more of the advanced stuff, but, like, I by no means was, like, super advanced into, like, the insane building side of playing crazy, but at least getting, like, the, the simple stuff down I think is really important and with flight point they don't actually teach much about the advanced building menu where you can actually like rotate parts and you can like resize things like, I didn't know I could resize things until I accidentally clicked on a block while holding like the paper tool and realized I could resize stuff wait a second you can I didn't know you could resize? Oh my god, that is game changing. And what is also cool, which I I really, I really hope that Playing Crazy 2 adds this, the ability to change the properties of a block. Because I was shown that you can actually build a cockpit in this game that has no collision whatsoever. And you don't have to use like the, the goofy hatch that I used to use on all my planes. Or you don't have to build like some super, super difficult and intricate thing and have to worry about it clipping with other parts of your build and then breaking or glitching out. It doesn't seem to have that problem because the blocks in Project Flight Point, you can make them not collide with other blocks. And so like it can swing out and in and it'll be fine and there'll be no problems whatsoever. My mind is like actually blown. Like you can do that. You can't do that, and well, I mean, you kind of can in playing crazy, but it cannot look this detailed. Now, since I actually recorded my video a couple days ago, there has been a couple updates to the game. Like, they've added camera blocks, and they've changed a couple ways that things work, and there's been various bug fixes. And I've, I've also spoken with the developer, like I said earlier, and I've even asked him to maybe add some things for content creators where we could get like a, a free cam system or something like that. And uh, he told me that he's working on it and honestly may already have finished it, which is really impressive. Uh, but it, it's good to see a developer taking like a lot of the feedback and stuff that they were receiving and adding it in as it comes along, because I was like looking through his Discord server, there's a lot of suggestions coming in, a lot of good suggestions, and it looked like that stuff was being taken into consideration right off the bat. Now that is really all I've got for this video. It kind of came off a little bit as an advertisement, but um, I, I want to hop back into Plane Crazy, but I've been waiting for Plane Crazy 2, and I think that Project Flight Point is a good in-between while we wait for Plane Crazy 2 to be released, and I think that a lot of cool stuff can come out of it. Like I said, I don't know when Playing Crazy 2 is going to come out, but I think that there's a lot of potential to build some really cool things while we wait, and I know that a lot of people from the Playing Crazy community are looking for something fun to do and not just keep playing like playing crazy all the time. Maybe they want to try something a little bit different, but with like the same idea. 
I think that this is a good game. Give it a try because I plan on doing some content with it in the future. And uh, I think it's a good idea to have people who want to participate in those videos have an idea of how the game plays and like how to do things in it so that when I go to record we're all not kind of staring at each other and trying to figure things out for half an hour but um yeah I think it's a fun game give it a try and I gotta do a lot of learning in it because man the stuff that I was building it did not look good it I am back to basics it's just like playing crazy I am back to square one again but other than that, guys, that is really all I've got for this face. If you guys liked this video, feel free to give it a like, comment, and subscribe. As always, guys, it's Dragon Platinum, signing out. Peace out, guys. Bye! And thank you to everybody in the game who helped me understand what I was doing. It is very, very, very appreciated. <laughs>